and misaros and crowdlings, the devotees, and trying to help them out as much as possible. Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sri Ma and Swamiji, they were always very compassionate and very considerate about householders. Thakur always used to say, Sadhu's mother also used to say, the monks have to call on God, what is so great about it, what else would they do? But the devotees, it is like overcoming a great hurdle and calling on God. Bishmon Patra Chale Dharadake Thakur So you see, the point is, they have always had a great hope for householders. Thakur used to say, it is like householder life, it's like fighting from within a fort. You are fortified, you are protected on all sides and fighting from such a situation is always much more comfortable. Sri Ramakrishna has clearly dealt with this topic elaborately which we get through the sayings of his in the Kathamrita. How one should be an householder. That mud fish which is always in the mud but its body is always beautiful, clean, neat and shiny. So it is not tainted by the mud in which it stays. It is also said that how you should like break through this jackfruit, should oil your palms and then know it. And then how you should be, should live in the world like the maid servant of a very rich man's house where he always takes care of the children of the rich man but always remembers our own children who are in a faraway home. So like that, in several ways, Sri Ramakrishna clearly instructs and he also says about the three types of jivas, the one type which are ever free, the fish which are never caught by the fisherman's net, even when they cast the net, they simply jump away and go to a very safe place at which they are liberated. Then the next category, who after the net is cast, they struggle and come out. And the last category, who never make an effort, they bury themselves into the mud thinking that it's all it's all going to end up sometime, but then finally when the fisherman pulls the net out, all of them are trapped and taken into his bag. So, in several ways, Sri Ramakrishna has very clearly instructed how one should live in the world as a householder. Similarly, if Sri Ramakrishna has told us through his instructions, Sri Sri Ma has virtually lived a life. There's an extraordinary beauty of Holy Mother's life. Although, she is the Leela Sanghini of Sri Sri Thakur and she is Thakur's Shakti. Sri himself quite clearly says that do not make any distinction between me and her. And he has paid the highest tributes to Sri Sri Ma. And nothing can be greater than that in which he offered in Shodashi Puja all the fruits of his sadhana and including his Japamala, everything he offered at her feet because Holy Mother was such a fit receptor. So, Holy Mother, through her life, has very clearly demonstrated how to live in the circumstances as a householder, how to fix one's mind on God, how to be totally unaffected by the surroundings or whatever is happening around. Of course, she has set very high standards. It's really impossible to exactly replicate the mother's life. But one can easily draw wonderful lessons from the Holy Mother's life and slowly build up one's own life because perhaps for every type of problem which one can imagine in a household, you find a parallel or a reflection in the Mother's life itself. I don't think anyone here lives in a more difficult condition or circumstance than the Holy Mother herself did. So no one can say, no, we are householders and this and that. You can always draw lessons from the Holy Mother's life and Swamiji also has very clearly said in one of his lectures on Karma Yoga, he says, each is great in his own place. He talks about a beautiful story, like Sundar Kahani Bataya. This may hold straight to hell, Sanyasi ya Grihas. There he beautifully deals with this issue that how a young Sanyasi was prepared to, even in the face of the gravest temptation and the greatest and the most covetous offer which one can get in life. Everything was considered as totally worthless or insignificant by him 
and who simply did not even look at all those riches of the beautiful princess but simply went away into the forest and also in the same forest how three a yeah, family of birds with an extraordinary exhibition of the spirit of service and sacrifice they were ready to give up their very lives in the service of others so swamiji clearly says if you are a sanyasi you should have that kind of extraordinary spirit of renunciation where even the most tempting thing should be considered as next to nothing and you should be able to walk away in the face of such an offer or temptation if you are a householder kaise rehna hai aisa jeevan usme tyag aur seva se paripurna hai amon ek jeevan japan kar be shekne tyag aur seva duti bharpur ho ye thak be sada sarvada aparetne jeevan amra visarjan dite raji thakta hobe oi dhorone seva